Hello there guys, I'm Cody Mayer, and this is Cigar TV. Today we are doing a review over the 1898 Independica Limited Edition Cigar. Alright, so here it is. Pretty nice looking band there. It is a Habano wrapper. So uh, let's go ahead and get this cut and lit up and see what the flavors are. Not too badly lit right now, but I'm gonna light one more match just so I can get an even burn around the whole bottom of the cigar. Alright, it is a mild to medium body cigar, um, very mellow flavors to it. has somewhat of an even burn. I've noticed with these cigars that the way that they burn is kind of sometimes off. So it's not always going to be an even burn with this cigar. Sometimes it burns inward instead of outward, which is kind of interesting. I haven't had that happen with any other cigars that I've smoked except for these. But uh, I think that's just because I had the humidation off just a bit for the first couple weeks that I had them. But since I fixed the humidification, I haven't had that problem. Usually, whenever you don't have the humidation right, it can cause the cigar to dry out and burn in strange and funny ways. So, just always make sure to have your humidification in your humidor or whatever kind of container you have for them. Make sure that it's at the perfect uh, radius for your cigars to keep them nice and fresh. Getting back to this cigar though, uh, it is a cigar from the Philippines. So, it is quite the interesting smoke for sure. And so far, the flavors are still really mellow. Uh, still mild to medium body. It is a Robusto 
that's the only size I have found these in. Comes in a box of 20. I uh, purchased them off of an online retailer, so I have not seen them in an actual shop themselves. If you want to go and purchase a box of these, they've, I've only seen them come in a bundle of two, so you get two boxes instead of one. But on the other hand, the price for those two boxes with them bundled like that was very reasonable. It was like 30 to 45 dollars for both boxes. So it's a reasonable price for two 20 count boxes of uh, these cigars. They just have wonderful mellow flavors. So say if you want a cigar in the morning but you don't want anything um, really strong to start your day off with something that would probably be good with like a cup of coffee or your favorite soda beverage what have you it would be a nice cigar to uh, sit back and enjoy with a uh, anything you like to drink in the morning even in the afternoon if it's like your first cigar of the day it is a nice cigar to have just to get things kicked off with it lasts about 30 to 45 minutes depending on uh, the bait you smoke it at so if you're driving to work or driving home from work or just at lunch and you want a cigar you know, this one right here would be perfect to uh, get your cigar fix in. It has a really smooth draw to it. Some of them have been kind of stiff, but like I said, that could just be because of my humidification. It could have also been that those in particular cigars were rolled a little too tightly. There's a whole realm of reasons why the uh, cigars, other cigars would have been uh, a little bit of a stiff draw but pretty much overall they've all been very smooth on the draw of the smoke and other than that you know it's a wonderful cigar to pick up and try the ash itself is pretty well together nice uh, tightly formed which is always a good sign uh, but other than that you know please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please comment down below for future cigars that I might be able to try on my channel please suggest some so I can look them up and as always stay smoky my friends